Welcome back to Dave's Garage. Today we're out here in the yard looking at a, a Bird Buddy, a smart bird feeder that has motion detect. It has a uh, Wi-Fi camera and it talks to the, your, your uh, home Wi-Fi network and uploads pictures and videos of birds and it accompanies a, uh, a bird application for your smartphone. And in my case I had um, a bit of a challenge. Every installation is going to be a little different, but in my case, my biggest challenge was to keep squirrels off the bird feeder. But where I'm at today is that I had, with this smart feeder, obviously the price tag goes up. So these are expensive feeders. And I wanted to come up with a way to keep the squirrels off the bird buddy. So this is what I came up with. We're going to take a look at the finished product, then I'll dissect it, and we'll take a look at the pieces parts that I've used to make this, uh, what I call the Tin Man. The Tin Man stands about eight feet high, and of course the bird buddy is right here in the middle, and the bird buddy is surrounded by a uh, three-quarter inch galvanized pipe, uh, an overhead baffle, um, we'll get, we have a uh, power feed that gets jumpered to the bird buddy from the lower duct. The lower duct is five foot, the upper duct is two foot. And what I've found, the secret to keeping squirrels off this, because right next to me, I've got all these squirrel launch pads, all these branches, every one of them was plaguing my attempts with uh, keeping squirrels off this feeder. First off the ground was easy. I just went with this five foot duct. It comes from a big box hardware store. But the five foot duct is all you need with a cap for uh, any ground jumping squirrels. The cap is extra, but this here was only like $17. And then the uh, three quarter inch pipe is uh, of course additional funds. The upper duct is actually a two piece. I bought a six inch and an eight inch duct and then just put them together so it makes something close to 14 inches across which is just perfect to um, have the pipe come around the bird feeder and then go up right up to center and then at the very top which we'll look at here in a minute there's a piece of polycarbonate so it lets light in you can see we're on my hand here let's let's as much light in as possible my latest addition has been to add LED lights up inside the bird feeder where you, uh, you put the seed and peanuts and such. But um, let's take a look at the, starting at the top, let me get a ladder over here. There's a clear piece of polycarbonate, as you can tell by looking down in there. And it's clear. And all it is is three quarter inch pipe coming up the center. I've got a wall or what they call a floor flange with uh, four holes, stainless hardware on the flange. And from there you go straight down to a couple of different pieces of uh, pre-threaded three quarter inch galvanized pipe. None of this pipe needs to be cut. None of it needs to be threaded. You just go with the lengths you need and some couplings um, where I'm pointing there with my shadow, the couplings that put it all together in a vertical stack. To hold the um, outside duct onto the polycarbonate, I have four of these little L brackets, and again, just small holes drilled, small stainless hardware. That's all it takes to put this top part together, and then you just start stacking your, your three quarter inch pipe. Back down here on the, gr on the ground, you can see by looking up in there, it's pretty bright because the light comes in. I've got my stack of three quarter inch elbow, three quarter elbow, three quarter elbow into a T. And then from the T, it just is a straight shot. Um, in this case, with this much overhead, you need to have your lower three quarter inch pipe uh, be a little bit out of the ground beyond the five foot. So the five foot duct will just sit just sit on the ground um, and then this three quarter inch pipe here it needs to be about eight feet long so I have a five foot joined with a three foot the five foot is above ground and the three foot is down inside the ground mid portion of this feeder 
I've got the bird buddy and it's just sitting on a little I think it's about a about a two inch uh, what they call just a pipe nipple and it's it's just threaded tapered threaded uh, and one goes up inside the bird feeder pole uh, mount which comes with the bird feeder and then the other you know end goes into this T so the other thing that um, I came up with is a uh, power feed and the power starts in my basement comes underground underneath the bay window here comes underground to the bottom of the feeder up inside this bottom duct I jumper it from using panel mount connectors I just jumper this to the bird feeder and then once it's inside I just have it going to a Y connector right there that's taped and one end goes to the uh, USB-C of the camera the other end goes right here to the USB-A uh, I had to turn the video off for a second I live near an airport so it's going to be um, some disruption to say the least so then the uh, second uh, from the Y connector here goes to a USB-A which goes to the um, it's just a LED strip that's on a tape a peel and stick tape and I just got it wound around a piece of flexible uh, natural gas pipe you would use for like a furnace and it's a perfect length I think it's about a 10 inch if I had to guess 10 12 inch somewhere around there and it just loops up around the, the camera and I've got the the, uh, the LED strip just wrapped around it spiral wrapped so that's all there is a um, little bit of soldering needed for this this connector here and behind that black tape it's all soldered but it's not a big deal you just have two wires you know and five volts in ground so this this jumper is for taking the bird feeder off uh, easily from the um, the bottom duct you just pull them out it's just a jumper and there you go it's just a 12 inch dump jumper I, I got off Amazon so we're just gonna leave that there the bird feeder just comes off by just spinning it off the threads off these bottom threads it just comes off so once I get this off I'll get back to you so then the next uh, big piece to come off is this whole thing this whole upper duct all this three-quarter inch pipe it just comes around comes down around here onto a T and then just this just spins off also so uh, I'll be right back with you once this is off the next step is going to be with everything from here up off next thing is this five foot duct it's just sitting on the ground so you just simply pull it up over and it's going to expose the inner pipe and the inner uh, cable that this here uh, attaches to so here's the inner um, inner portions of the uh, feeder um, I've, I've taken this lower section here a couple of steps extra this is a piece of corner chain link fence post five feet high or five feet long and I've got that wrapped over the three-quarter inch pipe as a three-quarter inch pipe goes into the ground so this larger pipe allows for a, a bigger diameter pipe to be present here in the ground so on high winds it has a lot less chance of it being able to be moved or rocked the uh, three-quarter inch is not very big so I just put a two and three eighths inch uh, outer pipe over the um, over the um, three-quarter inch pipe now the, uh, the electrical part of this I've got a piece of flexible conduit coming up out of the ground and it goes over here underneath my bay window you can probably hopefully see it under there up next to the house that comes under the ground up here just got some zip ties on it and then that houses the cable which inside the flexible uh, conduit I've got what they call wire loom this is just another layer of protection it's just a plastic uh, slit uh, wire protection so I just have it coming up here to a loop and then from here I just have a connector and this is all 
what they call 5.5 millimeter um, power cable. So then this just comes down here, go between a um, power cable, black and, and red, you know, 5 volts, which goes up to that jumper. You have to do some soldering here to add uh, a couple of other intermediate pieces of wire, but yeah, again, it's just two wires, a little bit of soldering, um, some heat shrink, and then uh, you're good to go. So that's it. I did put a cap on here also. This here just sits on here. To fill the gap between the two pipes, I'm just using a, what they call paver brick sand. So it's down in here and it just keeps the, the, the space between the two pipes nice and solid. So that's it. The Bird Buddy is back in its location and one thing you can do to add some uh, variety to the seed. I only use sunflower hearts, just one type of seed, and it, it gets all the birds, the, even the goldfinches and the, the um, if you want to see more blue jays, sometimes you don't, but if you want to see more blue jays, you just throw some peanuts in with the mix. I got some sunflower hearts up in there. Uh, the summary of this outside mechanical portion, we have the duct, the uh, bird buddy, all of this stuff here, the uh, three-quarter inch pipe, the lower five-foot baffle or duct. All these metal parts come from a company called Home Depot. They're all over the U.S. And in other countries, you can get a lot of this stuff that's going to be in metric, but it's going to be very similar in size and, and function. I had an earlier video, got an earlier video that covers all the different pieces, parts of the wiring minus the addition of what I just soldered in for the uh, LED lighting. And I'll, I'll just add that part of the video because it's already been done in my uh, earlier version. In uh, all the uh, Bird Buddy forms, if you hear me talking about uh, Design 1.0, that was the lower duct. 2.0 had to do with adding uh, the 5 volts from coming from the basement underground here inside the duct to the bird buddy 3.0 design 3.0 is the uh, addition of a uh, duct and I did have some other baffles on here as part of 2.0 but uh, the, the, the squirrels just defeated it so quick it was it was just overnight they, they figured it out so then this the secret is vertical overhead baffling or, or duct work the secret is, is vertical. They, they can't jump onto the bird feeder and they, they, they can land on top, but then they can't get around it to get to the bird feeder. All they have is one option to jump to the ground. So then uh, the, the final stage here is design 4.0. I, well, I shouldn't say final. Who knows what I'll do next. It is to add the um, just the addition of the LED lighting in here, which gives you a lot of nice video and pictures early in the morning or then close to dark where usually the lighting is so poor that you can't use the, the pictures or videos or save them or look at them they're just junk but uh, this lights it up lights up the night and i have some really neat video i'll warn you though that the uh, yellows oranges and reds are a bit accentuated a bit, a bit uh, brightened up on all the birds and that that will affect um you know what birds look like other colors don't seem to be a, a, as uh, affected so uh we'll, we'll just uh from here we'll just addendum the electrical components the wiring the power supply and all that down in the basement and it's all done on my workbench really nice so you'll look at that next outside there it was really kind of loud with a lot of distractions so it's, it was hard to record i hope i didn't uh, make too much of a mess of that but the idea up there was to show you the duct and the cap and then the three-quarter inch pipe that just gets pounded into the ground so we went over a lot of the hardware outside and I'm gonna go over the electrical side here and we're gonna start at the other end of the cable where I've got a um, actually it's a very small um, what I call wall wart or power supply it's a 5 volt supply so this is kind of like old school 5 volts 1 amp and it, it comes up here to it's a round connector just round it's a 5.5 uh, millimeter diameter um, outside 
diameter uh, just connector. Then I've got like a 30 foot piece of an extension. The, the, you can make a long run from these 5.5 volt or 5.5 millimeter diameter cables. You know, just power. It's just power and ground. <clears throat> you can make a long run with them. So I have the cable going inside of this wire loom um, to help protect the cable. And then I thought, you know what, if I go outside at a longer length here and bury it, which I did out in the yard, I'm going to want even more protection. So this is what I went with. It's actually a flexible conduit. I think it's three quarter inch. No, no, I think it's actually half inch. These, these flexible conduits are like oversized. So I think this is only half inch flexible conduit, but I got like a 20 foot piece of this thing. So it starts here. I just got it going up along the, the basement ceiling and it goes over underneath a um, uh, my uh, bay window. And then it goes underground. I just have it go straight underground. And then you can see my bird feeder from in here. Um, it's not that much distance from here, but it's it's 20 feet worth of cable. Well, five feet is up inside the, the duct. But, you know, from here, from here, it's like about 30 feet, which I wasted six or seven feet of it right here. But it goes up and then out. You'll have to make adjustments depending on where your feeder's at. So underground comes up inside of the duct. And then I already explained some of the jumper and all the 5.5 uh, millimeter uh, connectors and, and uh, panel mount, you know, panel connectors and stuff that I used out there. A little bit of solderings required inside the duct for a couple pigtails, and then inside the bird feeder for uh, again two two. Uh, there's a bird out there on the feeder right now. It's a bluebird. I've been getting a lot of bluebirds. There's another uh, little bit of jumpering or uh, two pigtails you have to solder inside the uh, the bird feeder itself. So coming over here to the the specifics, all this was built, or um, it was built here, but I bought all the components on Amazon. So once you come to the end of the, the 20 foot extension, 5.5 millimeter power connector inside the, um, the duct, you need one of these, which goes between the 5.5 millimeter um, female to just a um, it's a pigtail pigtails are just you know connector on one end wires on the other and then this is the panel mount um, pigtail that's used on the duct and on the bird feeder again all you have is just power and ground so you just have to solder these two wires together and of course I I, I have a lot of stuff here to play with so I use the appropriate uh, shrink tubing that you put over these these contacts and stuff once they're soldered for protection and then on top of that I think I actually uh, did some you know some black electrical tape so then this you know you're now in your mind hopefully you can you can think of this being uh, what is shown coming out of the duct now you need the jumper so the jumper this is a, another one I bought five of these the jumper goes from the duct up to the uh, bird buddy and then from the bird buddy you go i had to drill a hole in the in the blue plastic you go to another panel mount that's just another one of these pigtail and then you have another solder job that go to the usb c connector which is another pigtail so these get you know again soldered together and using the the, the uh, heat shrink tubing and then some electrical tape to kind of just purdy it all up and that's all there is to it. Um, below this video, I'll have the uh, part numbers and the, um, the links. The source is um, mostly Amazon for all this electrical parts. But this is some pretty common stuff. All this 5.5 millimeter uh, power connectors, th this is right off the shelf. And the pigtails here are just right off Amazon. And that's all there is to it. Have fun with the with the coming up to be um, you know coming up with some creative activities with um, with uh, critter management and, and power generation. So, anyways, have a good day.